Oh my goodness. Pepsman made another video. Everybody run for the hills now! Go, go, go! Alright, other than fooling around, today I'll be talking about Russia. Um, not sure how specifically, just about Russia. Bas how to explain it, it's basically what you did. Y you see it? Yes. That. So, the history of Russia, the history, demographics, population, this, that, GDP, I don't know. I'll, I'll get to that later, but for right now, the history. So, the early history of Russia was like those of many countries. It's one of migrating peoples and ancient kingdoms. In fact, early Russia was not exactly Russia, but a collection of cities that gradually turned into an empire. In the early part of the 9th century, as part of the same great movement that brought the Danes to England and the Norsemen to Western Europe, a Scandinavian people known as the Vangarians crossed the Baltic Sea and landed in the Eastern Europe. The leader of the Vangarians was the seven legendary warrior Rurik, who led his people in 862 to the city of Novgorod. The Volkhov River, whether Rurik took the city by force or was invited to rule there, he certainly invested the city. From Novgorod, Rurik's successor Oleg extended the power of the city southward. In 882, he gained control of Kiev, a Slavic city that had arisen along the Dempa River around the 5th century. Oleg's attainment, attainment of the rule over Kiev marked the first establishment of a unified dynastic state in the region. Kiev became the center of a trade route between, between Scandinavia and Constantinople, Constantinople, I'll put it up on the screen, and Kiev and Russia. As the empire came to be known, flourished for the next 300 years. Then. By 989, Oleg's great-grandson, Vladimir, was ruler of a kingdom that extended to as far as south as the Black Sea, the Caucasus Mountains, and the lower reaches of the Volga River. Having decided to establish a state religion, Vladimir carefully considered a number of available faiths and decided upon Greek Orthodoxy, this allying himself with Constantinople and the West. It's said that Vladimir decided against the Islam party because of his belief that his people could not live under religion that prohibits hard liquor. Vladimir was succeeded by Yaroslav the Wise, who written Mark the Paji of Kivan, Russia. Yaroslav codified laws, made shoot alliances with other states, encouraged the arts, and all the other sorts of things that wise kings do. Unfortunately, he decided in the end to act like a leer, dividing his kingdom among his children and bidding them to cooperate and flourish. Of course, they did not do anything of the sort. Within a few decades of Yaroslav's death in 1054, Kevin Russia was rife with inter internal strife and had broken up into regional power centers. Internal divisions were made worse by the depredations of the invading Cummins, better known as the Kip Kipchans. It was during this time in 1147 to be exact that Yuri Dolku I don't know how to pronounce that name I'll put it up on the board as well one of the regional princes had held a feast at his hunting lodge on top of a hill overlooking the confluence of the Moska Niglia rivers a chronicler recorded the party, thus providing us with the earliest mention of how of Moscow, the small settlement that would soon become the preeminent city in Russia. All right, so finally, after a bit, it got funded in the 12th century. The principality of Muscovy was able to emerge from over 200 years of Mongolian domination and to gradually conquer and absorb surrounding principalities. In the early 17th century, a new Romanov destiny continued this policy of expansion across Siberia to the Pacific. Under Peter I, hegemony was extended to the Baltic Sea and the country was renamed the Russian Empire. During the 19th century, more territorial acquisitions were made in Europe and Asia. Defeat in the russia o slash japanese War of 1904-05 contributed to the revolution of 1905, which resulted in the formation of a parliament and other reforms. Repeated devastating refeats of the Russian army in World War I led to widespread rioting in the major cities of the Russian Empire and to the overthrow in 1917 of the imperial household. 
The communists under Vladimir Lenin seized power soon after and formed the USSR. The brutal rule of Losev Stalin, 1926-53, strengthened communist rule and Russian dominance of the Soviet Union at a cost of tens of millions of lives. The Soviet economy and society signatured in the following decades until General Secrecy M Mikhail Gorshikbog, Gorshikbog, 1985 91, introduced a glass knot openness and perestroika uh, restructuring in an attempt to modernize communism, but his initiatives in inadvertently released the forces that by December 1991 splintered the USSR into Russia and 14 other independent republics. Since then, Russia has shifted its post-Soviet democratic ambitions in favor of a centralized semi-author state in which a leadership seeks to legitimize the rule through managed national elections. Populist appeals by President Putin, Putin and continue the economic growth. Russia has severely disabled uh, Ekin rebel movement, although violence still occurs throughout the North Caucasus. All right, now that we're done with history, uh, I'll go to like population, demographics, and all that stuff. So, the population in Russia around the end of 2013 is around 142,929,000 people approximately, which represents a, a decrease of 71,000 people compared to 2012 uh, from Russia's population last year. So, the female, the female population is greater with 77,287,344 women, representing 54.07% of the total population, compared to 66,245,656 or 46.34% men. Russia, well, it's, it's a country with a very low population density, as you can see, the the country is very large and um, well with its population of around 142 million um, it has around eight people per square kilometer and well that's pretty I guess something all right so a bit more in population so the aid structure it from different ages uh, varies. So, from people 0 to 14 years takes around 16% of the country, 15 to 24 years, 11.5%, 25 to 54 years, 45.9%, 55 to 64, 13.5, 65 years and over, 13.1%. There should be more detailed information uh, in the caption that I put up, like male and female ratios or like whatever. There should be a picture up. So the, popula the population growth rate is not actually growing at the moment, it's actually going down. Well, at least in the, po in the data I got from 2013, the end of it. So the population actually went down 0.02%. So I don't have a doubling time or anything, nor would I probably be able to get one. Because, well, um, the population just started going up and down recently. As, uh, well, yeah, in the past few years. As you can see on this Google thing that I have up right now, yes, that. And there's about 1.69 migrants for every thousand people. Birth rate 12.11 births for every thousand people. Death rate 13.97 deaths for every thousand people. Total fertility rate: um, the average woman has around 1.61 children, uh, so they don't have like half a baby. It's like overall status, in case if you didn't know. And then literacy rates. Uh, around 15 to 24 year olds, uh, both sexes, 2002, 2009 when it got tested. It's about 99.7%. And then, so male, 99.7 to 99.6 for um, the males, 2002, 2009. And then women, 99.8, 99.8. So, a bit higher for the women, lower for the guys, but overall 99.7 both years. 
And then the terrain of the land is broad plain with low hills west of Urals, vast coniferous forest and tundra in Siberia, uplands and mountains along the southern border regions. And the climate ranges from steppes in the south through humid continental in much of European Russia, subarctic in Siberia to tundra climate in the polar north. Winters may vary from cool along Black Sea coast to frigid in Siberia. Summers may vary from warm in the steppes to cool along the Arctic coast. I don't, I, I don't understand all the words, but it's, it's weather. That's what I got. And that will finish off my presentation. Also, the most of the information I got is from www.indexmundi.com and another website, I forget the name, but that's where I got the rest of the history. Uh, but there's no like name on the article of who did it, so it's not going to be like any copyrights are coming kind of after me and then hunt me down, but whatever. No one needs it, but whatever. That'll be my presentation, and um, well, as always.
sort of happened to me. I mean, I didn't even participate in that 